the most powerful invasion air force ever launched. Some of the 11,000 planes that opened the path through the so-called impregnable Atlantic Wall. Between Lauve and Cherbourg in Normandy, the Allied lightning strikes. Backing up the mightiest invasion by air, 4,000 ships, combat and landing craft carry the war to the enemy by sea. The Coast Guard, the Navy, the Air Forces land hundreds of thousands of British, Canadians and Yanks on Hitler's doorstep within a few days. Isolating Cherbourg with its strategic harbor is the immediate objective. Landings are made under a naval barrage. President Roosevelt said, let our hearts be stout. And later, Germany is the first on the list for destruction. These troops bucking the choppy seas in the channel heeded his words. While landings were successful, we were not without our losses. Each hour, and the enemy's hedgehog defenses are ahead. This is the supreme moment of invasion. This is frontal assault on an entrenched enemy. Medical corpsmen remove wounded for return to England. The first batch of Nazi prisoners, the supermen who believe their West Wall impregnable, and a Frenchman to whom the stars and stripes spell liberty. He's waited a long time for this. What he says wouldn't pass the censor. During the landings, the merciless pounding of the entire invasion area continues. Here is real pinpoint bombing. One of the last bridges between the invasion coast and Paris gets it. When the beachhead is established, heavier equipment is moved in. Reinforcements for those heroes who are bringing liberation to the people of Europe. The cost of our initial landing was but a fraction of what our leaders expected. More than 10,000 German prisoners were captured in the first few days of the battle. And we know one Hun who's not going to peddle any more Nazi philosophy. The Allied advance is rapid as we mop up town after town. Some Yank will have a nice doormat when he gets back home. The Supreme Commander, General Eisenhower, holds an early conference with General Montgomery, the commander of English ground troops, and they see that all operations go according to plan. These are the men who will lead us to victory along with General Omar Bradley with glasses, who commands our infantry. The cost of our first landing was low, but many wounded are returned to English ports, men injured in that first assault. Let these pictures remind us that there's still a long road ahead to Berlin. The bond you buy in this fifth war loan drive can help men like these on the path to victory. Now it's your turn. Buy that extra bond. Today.